Hello, I'm Dale Johnson, Field Service Manager with Horton. Today we're going to go over the installation of the new Horton Quick Kit and the, the ease of installation and the pre-assembled components and how it compares to the older super kits. To repair, basically we need the fan mounting disc tool. And then uh, the T55 Plus tool. Goes into the jack bolt. Breaker bar to hold this steady. This is a left hand thread. So in order to move it properly, you would have to turn it left handed. So as you break it loose, then the fan mounting disc is removed from the jack bolt. Now you need to install the cage nut. The clutch pack is spring loaded. So you want to keep that in place, put that in, then you want to just torque it down slightly, like so. And now we're going to remove the, the uh, screws for the fan mounting friction disc. There's eight screws in there. They're T27 torques, and they're right-handed screws. So you go through and uh, remove all those eight screws. At this point in time, you remove the friction liner as a separate piece, and then the fan clutch pack. At this point in time, you would go through the same purpose as you would with a, a normal super kit repair. You'd remove the shiv, uh, the air cap, the snap ring, the main nut, the cartridge assembly, etc and uh, replace it back in, press the bearings back in. And now basically the ease of the quick kit installation uh, is simple. Instead of having the clutch pack, the friction liner, the uh, FMFD, it's all one pre-assembled component. So you basically set this back down into there after you have your quad seal in place, line up your screw holes, and insert your liner screws. Again, you'd want to start these just like you would any other. Get them all started before you go on to the next one. After you have these all torqued in and in place, your fan clutch is ready to go.